Okay, Heidi. Where are you? What's going on? Fill us in. I'm at Dr. Wu's office, who is my dermatologist. She went to Harvard. She's very smart. And she's actually one of the leading people in the country for Botox. I haven't had Botox in 10 years, but after having this baby, I'm really tired. And I'm always like this because I'm trying to keep my eyes awake. So I have like extra, extra wrinkles. So I'm just going to get a tiny bit of fillers. And I've been very hesitant because... I That's what I tell she's me. done talking. Well, I might keep ringing, but... Ah, let's see. Good cut. Okay, back to what you were saying. So I was very hesitant to get Botox. You can talk louder. I was very hesitant to get Botox because I've had so much surgery and there's so much criticism about it. And I just didn't know if it was like a godly thing to do or if it's okay to do. And I just prayed about it. And I think that it's fine. And a lot of great Christian people I know get Botox. So as long as I don't let it be more important than other things and start prioritizing it. I think I'll be okay and I'm hypersensitive because I had so much trauma with it, but I haven't had anything in 10 years, any kind of fillers, any kind of Botox, and if I don't like it or I feel like it's what was against what I'm supposed to do, then I won't do it again. But I'm very excited because these lines are getting really deep with no sleep, so I feel like I deserve a little Botox. I'm gonna stop trying to judge myself so hard. And I don't judge other people, ever. So I don't know why I'm more critical to myself than other people, because I'm very supportive of what everyone wants to do. So here we go. A little nervous. I missed that line. That was a I real line. To, uh, okay, oh. never mind. <laughs> uh, never mind. Let's forget what I was saying. <laughs> well, maybe after child labor, everything's easier. But I heard from a friend who came here the other day that... You had two friends come here the other day. I did. And one said Jessica Wu is a straight angel and she knew and feels some of the needles going in. <sighs> At least she went to Harvard. Look, Harvard Ian. But I'm hoping to be pregnant next... Well, or, or getting pregnant around next Christmas. You nervous? A little. Should I be nervous? You shouldn't be. You should be 32, please. Okay. I'm just gonna clean off a little more. Yeah, see these little creases here. Um, I think it's always better to do a little less than a little too much. Yeah. Because we can always add. If we put too much Botox in, we can't take it out. Okay. And how long until it dissolves or until it needs to be? So uh, it'll take a couple days to take effect, up to a week, and the effect will wear off in probably three months or so. Okay. And when you start noticing that the makeup gets stuck in the lines again, that's time to come back. <laughs> Does all Do Botox like to hold your hand? last the same amount of time? Um, it depends on the size and strength of your muscle, and also the dose that we use. If we use a small baby dose like we're using, it might wear off a little quicker, like two and a half to three months. If we use a really strong dose and completely freeze your forehead, it might last five months. So that's why we tell people an average of four months, but since we're going on the light side, for you, probably two and a half to three months. Okay. But better to do, if we want to keep it natural, it's better to do small doses a little more frequently. Okay. Thanks for holding my hand, Spence. So but you're hurting me. <laughs> you don't have to squeeze I, me so I'm hard. Squeezing for me. Oh, she gave me uh, some scrubs and it would look like, look like this is um, I know you faint with needles, so if you need to turn your head. Uh, I'll just aim it. Should I just go myself? Do you want something to squeeze? A squeeze ball? I think I'm okay. Okay. But mm. now that my hand's already numb. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's see. Raise your eyebrows, please. And relax. Raise your eyebrows. Relax. Keep your eyes closed. Here we go. Little pinch, little sting here. Not even bleeding. Raise your eyebrows and relax. Raise your eyebrows, relax.
Reach your eyebrows. Relax. No bleeding means no bruising, which is always That's nice. Great. I am just one of those people meant for Botox. <laughs> Actually, the dentist hurts more than, I mean, not not all dentists, but this it's not very painful at all. Reach your eyebrows, relax. What hurts more, Botox or getting waxed? Wax. Yeah. <laughs> Reach your eyebrows, relax. Okay. All right. Is that I it? I think that's it. But I'm you want a little it. heavier yeah. of a dose? <laughs> no. Are you sure we did enough? No. We did enough for today. Okay. If you need to come back and do a little extra, we can always add some even next week. It takes okay. a full week to take effect. But since uh, we want to make sure you keep enough movement and your son recognizes you, right. let's just keep it light. We can always add more. Okay. And then we don't need one in the middle. Is that brown? Uh, wrinkle your nose. Yeah, you actually have a strong horizontal line there starting to form a triangle. So let's do a little bit here. Okay. Felt like there was more. Triangle. Luminosity. Trying to brand me. Is that one a little more painful? A little more sensitive there, yeah. Anything in the numbing. center of your face, a little more sensitive. I think after having a baby with no epidural, you can. I don't think you know what pain is. Hand feeding the hummingbirds has made it so I can have the steadiest hand for filming. It looks like I have a gimbal. Okay. And then is there any kind of side effects, like extra headaches or anything like that? We should not with this dose. Okay. Um, some people do get headaches more because if the Botox is cold or if a large volume was was injected and there's a lot of swelling, sometimes you can get headaches. Um, some people who have a tendency to getting migraines, they might be more likely to get headaches, but generally most people don't. Okay. If you haven't had your forehead done um, in a while or never had it done, sometimes the forehead can feel a little stiff, even though it might look normal, it might feel like someone's holding their hand on your forehead like this. Okay. So over the next few days, if you feel like like uh, it's a little stiff, almost like someone is holding their hand. That's normal. That goes away after the first few days. Okay. Okay. And then we'll do the lipstick in there. Yes. How's that? You okay? Good. Yeah. Not oh, much better. You just feel the tiny poke and that's it. Really. Good. God, tough as nails. <laughs> Spencer, could you imagine? Oh, you already know me. You already know me. I'll be out the window first. You were debating Botox yourself. No, I mean, I would if I couldn't, if I could handle the needles. If I came in here really drunk, I think I could do it. <laughs> I need like four margaritas and then... We would numb you for an hour with numbing cream and tape. Uh, and then... That'll I, be the next episode. I use special needles that I get from Japan. Little baby needles. Mm -hmm. Close. Pretty. A little bit in the center. Open, please. This should be your new music video.
You should do a rap for me. Oh, rap. I'm, Heidi's the rapper. <laughs> Can I have some lip ointment, please? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's better on side profile, too. Should have done it before and after. Uh. on side. Woo! Another doctor left my lips wonky. <laughs> <laughs> Rest is soul in heaven. <laughs> it was a long time ago. I'm sure they were perfect at the time. Yeah, just, probably. You know, just sometimes wears off differently. Oh. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Go ahead, mush. Whoa, that looks really good. Yeah, that looks Pretty great. Right. Very even. Mm -hmm. And better on profile, too. Yeah. Because you were kind of, they were kind of sucking in. And barely. Like, you can't, mm -hmm. you know, it's yeah. like a so good. Live with that. And like I said, give it a week. If you think you need more, you can always add more. I'm really happy with it. Yay! Time for a drink. <laughs> yeah. Spencer took the last one. That's not good. Hey, hey, how's it going? Ellen, more even.